So, people have been talking about the best popular film category now for three years since it was announced, and then there was all of that backlash, and we still don't know if it's going to happen. It, it, it was announced, and then people hated it, so then they said, okay, well, we won't do it this year. And then it was supposed to happen the next year, but then it still didn't happen. I don't know where the Academy is with it right now. As of now, I believe it's still on the table as this would happen. Uh, but, I mean, yes, it's it's been out that this has been common knowledge for three years. I think it's still something interesting to talk about. Because while I'm sure I'm not the first person to say this, I think I have a better way of incorporating popular films into the Academy Awards because they clearly want to do that. It's in the title, Best Popular Film. They want to reach a more mainstream audience by nominating blockbuster movies. But if blockbuster movies want to be nominated, they should just make good movies. Everybody's made that argument. So how can we incorporate blockbuster films into the Academy Awards without looking down on them per se and essentially just giving them a participation award? Well, I think I have a way. My idea is to create genre categories. Yes, I'm, I'm not the first person to say there should be genre categories at the Oscars. And I'm not saying what the Golden Globes have done, where they split up drama and comedy and musical. Because I don't like the idea of forcing films to compete for two different main awards. There should be one main award. The main award is Best Picture. But if you have genre subcategories where these films can also be nominated for Best Picture, I think that's the best way to even it out. So let's look at last year's Oscars for 2020 films. Uh, so my my ideas for categories, Best Action Movie, Best Comedy, and Best Sci-Fi Horror Movie. So Best Action Movie, you got Tenet, um, you got Bad Boys for Life, uh, Sonic the Head. Okay, maybe 2020 isn't the best year for examples because not a lot of genre mainstream type films uh were actually nominated because hey a little thing called the pandemic happened uh so let's look at 2019 um the last normal year i guess is what you could call it uh so you have the category action movie right so what's probably nominated here is 2019 avengers endgame definitely getting in this is where it gets recognition other than the one visual effects nomination it got 1917 absolutely and those are your two front runners it, it would be tight because 1917 clearly i would say the more critically acclaimed film got way more oscar nominations including the best picture nomination but with the point of this category they might give it to avengers endgame i think other nominees that you're looking at spider-man far from home i think you're looking at ford v ferrari uh maybe john wick 3 um gets in there captain marvel maybe um there there's lots of different ways you could go here i mean you also have gemini man charlie's angels terminator dark fate fast and furious hobbs and shaw alita battle angel a lot of people like though i think that would have went into sci-fi horror but you see what i'm getting at there's lots like how awesome would it have been to see john wick 3 get an oscar nomination i mean you had G the gentleman guy Ritchie's film from earlier that year it opens up a lot of possibilities but i definitely think your three front runners are avengers endgame 1917 and Ford vs. Ferrari. Second category here, you got comedy. Um, so what's being nominated here? Knives Out, definitely. Uh, got an adapted screenplay nomination. Jojo Rabbit, again, definitely uh, one uh, adapted screenplay. Then you probably have Booksmart. Again, how great would it have been to see Booksmart? Uh, and yes, that isn't a blockbuster film, but it was very popular. So many people loved it, and it's just not the type of movie that would normally get love at the Oscars. Uh, the Farewell, another Oscar snubby. Again, not necessarily a blockbuster, but a beloved film that missed out on the Oscars. I think that gets in. That last spot. I mean, you have Hustlers, you have Yesterday, you have Zombieland Double Tap, Dolomite Is My Name, maybe Fighting With My Family, uh, Good Boys. There's There were so many great comedic films that year, and again, I think your top four are pretty locked in. Knives Out, Judge Rabbit, Booksmart, The Farewell. But then after that, like you have all of these, all these fun films that could get in. I mean, Peanut Butter Falcon. That would have been incredible to see that get a, a nomination at the Oscars. Um, what wins this? 
probably Knives Out, which was my personal favorite film of the year. Um, Booksmart maybe as well. Uh, again, it's just all about opening up possibilities. Last category here, sci-fi horror. Um, this is another fun one. I think you see Ad Astra get nominated. This is where I think you see Alita Battle Angel get nominated. Um, I, you have Glass and Brightburn. Maybe they sneak in. Not entirely convinced, though. Um, but then Midsommar, definitely in. The Lighthouse, definitely in. Us, definitely in. Like, I mean, you, you have Doctor Sleep sitting there as well as a maybe. But I think your locks. Midsommar, The Lighthouse, Us, Ad Astra. And then I think it's a toss-up between something like Alita Battle Angel, Glass, and um, Dr. Sleep for that last spot. Maybe get Chapter 2 as well. Um, what do I think wins? I I would love to say that Midsommar wins this. How great would that be? Like, Oscar winner Ari Aster. That'd be awesome. Again, I, I think this is the best way to, to go because it isn't necessarily popular film you're still making these movies earn it because they do still have to compete against smaller films like oscar contenders 1917 jojo rabbit um ford v ferrari all three best picture nominees that would also be eligible for these categories but you also get to see films like midsommar avengers endgame uh spider-man far from home these blockbuster films that would be able to get more love at the academy awards i think this is the best way to balance this out do I think that the Academy will actually do this? No. No, they won't. Uh, I, I feel like they're kind of set on their best popular film. But I would love to see this. Um, I think that it could really work. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on my idea. And what do you think the Academy should do? Should they add new categories? Um, do you like the idea of best popular film? Do you have any alternatives? Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and also subscribe if you want. If you like the video if you don't you don't need to no pressure uh but thank you so much for watching until next time stay safe everybody and goodbye